Today, we're gonna look at Windows Server 2003. And what version did I choose to install? I uh, choose to install Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition. Yep, Standard Edition. It was nothing special. I didn't want nothing special. So I picked Standard Edition. So uh, let's boot it up and see what's different then compare it to Windows XP. So let's start up the VM. Oh yeah, 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 I know. Move that over there. I'll move that there. Now we're booting up Windows Server 2003 and let's compare it to Windows XP so we see Windows Microsoft Windows over here and then we see Win Server 2003 over here so it's a bit longer title and the loader is gray and the text is a bit bold over here I know I know so uh yep we're booted just need to move that over there and here is Windows Server 2003 standard edition I didn't even want to even choose to Take a password, so I didn't. So now it's asking us to control alt delete here. It's awkward that um, it chose the classic logon screen for the servers. Pretty unique and secure too. So yeah, there we go. There we go. We're booting up. And yes, it does have the same startup sound as Windows XP, nothing special. And at startup, this pops up, manage, manage your server, where you can manage your servers and stuff. But I don't have one, so I'm not going to do anything to this. So this is the Windows Server 2003 wallpaper. It's all gray. It's all gray and the only theme on here is Windows Classic just like the one on Windows 2000 if you don't believe me I'll show you see there's no Windows XP but I might show a hack on how to get the Luna theme on Windows Server 2003 I might so here's the screensavers okay automatic updates I don't want to do you yet oh it only has three screensavers that's awkward oops oh there we go windows server 2003 standard edition so um let's see the start menu so what we get is the run search help and support printers and faxes and a lot of administrative tools for the servers and control panel is a menu by default and we get notepad here and command prompt here and Windows Explorer here and manage your server configure your server wizard hmm. our programs oh look at that we don't get any games minus the games and servers see a lot of administrative tools I'm not joking uh, accessories, we still get the accessories including Windows Media Player and the other stuff so yeah that's Windows Server 2003 start menu now there's something different in um, IE6 in Windows Server 2003 and that is enhanced security configuration which protects the servers from uh, web-based uh, attack 
malware content. Yep, to protect the servers. And watch what happens when you go to any normal website like Google AppCA. This pops up. It uh, alerts you that uh, it, the web page has been blocked by uh, en enhanced security configuration. But you can just override this by uh, clicking close and close again and you're at the website. Yeah, 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 I know. So there you go. You're at the website. So I think Windows Server 2003 is much, much secure than XP. Minus the games, but that's okay. Anyways, it's a, uh, it's really cool, really, really cool. So cool. So that's Windows Server 2003. But watch what happens when you sh try to shut down. You get this. If you try to shut down or restart, you have to uh, fill in the shutdown event tracker on why why do you want to shut down the server? So I'll I'll just put uh, rest the server and cool it it down and save energy. I'm just picking this up. So. Because okay and it lets you shut down. So that's Windows Server 2003. I hope you had a fun time enjoying this video and thanks for watching. Goodbye.